good afternoon. Food waste. I know it's not a sexy issue. I know it's not, doesn't sound very exciting, but I'm here today to talk about why it's so important and why we need to do something about it. So what is food waste? Food waste is the food that you leave on your plate that gets thrown in the trash. It's the food that gets lost in the back of your refrigerator that spoils and grows fur and has to be thrown in the garbage. It's the eggshells that you throw away when you have breakfast. It's the food that supermarkets don't sell and rots. It's the banana peels and it's the apple cores that you don't eat. Now this type of food waste, and we're gonna have a lot of it because I hear we have a thousand bananas from Whole Foods. This type of food waste is unavoidable, but you'll be able to do something about it, which I'll explain in a minute. Food waste are the crops that farmers decide not to harvest and leave to rot in the field. It's the food that rots in transport from the field to the supermarket. It's the imperfect fruits and vegetables that consumers seem afraid to buy and retailers are too afraid to put on the store shelves. When you add all of this together, nationally, we waste up to 40% of our food. Globally, that percentage is higher and as high as 50%. The world wastes 40 to 50% of all edible food. So why is this important? We have an exploding population. By the year 2050, it's estimated that we're going to have between 9 and 10 billion people on this planet. How are we going to feed them? If we reduce our food waste by only 20%, we will be able to feed 25 million people. Hunger. Did you know that one out of six children on the planet, or one out of six children in the United States are food insecure? That means that they don't have access to healthy food or they don't have access to food at all. Again, if we could just reduce our food waste by 20%, we could feed 25 million people. Climate change. Now, I have to be honest. I thought when my food got thrown away, it went to a landfill, it turned into mulch, and it actually fertilized the area around it. It doesn't. It turns out that food doesn't decompose properly, and it, it releases methane gas, which is 21 times more potent than carbon dioxide. So every time you throw away a piece of food, you're contributing to climate change. So what can we do about it? Simple things. Shop smarter. Make a shopping list and stick to it. Don't buy the two-for-one supersized deals at the supermarket. It's not a deal unless you're going to eat it. Shop more than once a week. Learn what expiration dates mean. Best buy, use buy, sell buy, they are not an indicator of food safety. Get a doggy bag when you go to a restaurant. Even better yet, take your own container with you when you go to a restaurant and bring your leftovers home and make sure you eat them. If you don't want to eat them right away, put them in the freezer for later. Eat less meat. Now, I'm not trying to turn you into a vegetarian, but did you know it takes 17 pounds of grain and 2,000 gallons of water to create one pound of beef? And I am not even going to get into the fact that cows are not supposed to eat grain. They're only supposed to eat grass. So if you would like to reduce your meat consumption, check out the Meatless Monday campaign to find out more. Another thing you can do, which I am hoping TED and TED Active will do next year, is compost. Now, with composting, I live in a small one-bedroom in the East Village of Manhattan. I'm not going to compost. I am not going to put worms under my sink. I'm not, I don't care if you tell me that those composters are odorless and noiseless, but what I do is I save my food scraps in the freezer and I take them to my local farmer's market once a week where there's a composting program. Call your local farmer's market and see if they have a similar one, or better yet, start a program in your area. And the best thing that you can do is to join us and to join the End Food Waste Now campaign. While you're here at TED Active, just think about the food you're putting on your plate. Don't overfill it. Go back for seconds, for thirds, for fourths if you want, but don't throw food away. And if all of this is too much for you and you're like, oh, I'm so overwhelmed, there's so many things we have to worry about in the world, just two simple things. Care about the food you eat and be aware of what you do with it. It's that simple. Thank you.